Hello, it is great news all around. First of all, we're going to use these um, controllers for stable diffusion to create this poseable face. And what is good about this is that you can create the pose in Blender. You can pose it with native Rigify controllers for the face. This is just the basic example of how you can manipulate the controllers so that you can pose uh, your face in real time. Then take the render and put it into the control net with the appropriate media pipe weights. For example, this one is all the way to one, set to one. And as you can see, the entire influence of what we post in Blender, it's now affecting whatever we generate. Of course, you also have to watch for your prompting so that if you encircle this in parentheses, it's going to get a better weight. It's going to give it more importance. So let's see what happens when we switch to 0 0.67. We get this uh, variation, although it's the same face, but it's not affected in at at 100%. Now if we switch this to 0.85%, you can get different results such as this. Please notice that we're getting the right face angle plus the eye direction. So let's get into this. Welcome once again to Active Motion Pictures with Shiller Tips. Now this is a great week because we now have ControlNet version 1.1 uh, about to be released and with this version new um, naming conventions are going to be set for developers which are really are going to help these uh, progress forward with all of the implementations all of the training models that they have so let's talk about the models we have the depth as a 3d user and i'm aiming and directing everything i'm saying to 3d users uh, the depth and normal maps are uh, normal models sorry are very awesome to use so that the stable diffusion can create your models exactly as you intend them to so let's talk about control net 1.1 specifically about the open pose phase because this is something that is coming on this version which is this dotted face dotted wide dotted face that you see right here which I absolutely gives you better control of your facial expressions and in combination with the open pose body isn't that as a reason to celebrate <laughs> look at those fireworks on the background anyways so we see that we can even pose many different faces and the model will still recognize them another good thing for artists is this line art you can draw literally draw whatever you want and then ask stable diffusion to represent your drawing but the control net anime line art it's what blows our mind because this is literally taking your drawing your black and white drawing lines and converting them to any kind of a style or a model or LoRa that you have previously either trained or downloaded for your convenience. You can also put image colors and it, they will be translated to black and white images. There is all over uh, good news and the ControlNet InPaint natively, finally, it's going to come um, with better options to, to fade uh, from the edges and other useful, really useful things. This is just amazing. Please check out the links in the comment section below. Now let's get started with this video. First of all, I will not be showing you how to install the Media Pipe face. That is uh, something that Olivio Sar Sarkias has shown already. So after you complete that video, you come back here and then you're going to feed the image that you generate with Blender. And with this, we're going to activate the uh, Control Media Pipe Face version one, uh, version two, sorry, for Stable Diffusion 1.5. Okay, so I'm going to give the image its regular size, 512 by 786. And then I'm just going to ask for a simple prompt like woman with red hair in Paris. So as you can see right here, this is an anime model I'm using and it generates an animal, uh, I'm sorry, anime <laughs> style. Okay, and um, from here we can tell it to enable and let's see how much difference it makes whenever we're feeding a facial post model for this kind of things. So you can see that the um, cores are working there and once it generates it, we can see the anime style face post exactly like our model in Blender. But Mr. Schiller, can I do this with Blender? Sure you can. I created a quick prototype using Rigify tools, obviously natively in Blender, with all of the advantages that this has, specifically to render out animations using this possible model. If you move the controllers for the eyes, you will see a direct response, and the same thing goes for the mouth. Please bear in mind that the inner circle of the mouth will always intersect with other sections, but just be aware that if you avoid them, then you will get better results. So this is just a, a smooch pose, let's call it that way, and let's move some of the uh, eyebrows. 
Now let's render or just take a screenshot with the dimensions that we previously mentioned before, uh, 512 by 768. And now I'm going to be prompting a simple thing so that you can see it. So this face is looking the other way, okay? It's totally contrary with the one that we have right here. So let's generate one, but using our weights in the media pipe face, all the way set to one, and this is the result. Also, I switch uh, models. Uh, to generate this new anime character and she looks just amazing yeah another firework there <laughs> this is just amazing um, please notice the eye that the direction of the eyes okay that's very important because when, you, when you're posing using my um, model then you will get the the eyes position in the right place which is important and also the mouth please notice how the the um, proportional sizes for the eyes plus the mouth are different from the realistic model that we have from the anime one but the Mia pipe is able to interpret all of these proportions in the right and correct way yeah that's a more reason to celebrate <laughs> sorry about the fireworks uh, 0.35 will give us some result like this so it is not totally adjusted to to follow whatever we said with our face but it's rather giving it a freedom to use you know uh, its own thing also i lower down the cfg scale to, uh, down to five now let's switch to 0.87 and let's see what we what we get so this result is looking pretty amazing now this is looking more natural please notice that the eyebrows are not following entirely the face but it is great so the conclusion please um be aware that control net 1.1 is coming out with new models and please follow the Olivio's install tutorial to get this media pipe face, okay? Those are two different facial models that you can use for your work. And also for the people that already have gotten the Rigify model for Stable Diffusion Control Net Posable Rig that I created, please don't forget to rate it five stars. Some people download it and still use uh, Blender 3.1 and then down downgraded it, but you're using 3.5 as of now, which is the stable release of Blender, and then you can post this. So everyone who previously got this model will be getting the free upgrade for the facial controls. And everyone that is coming uh, to this video for the first time, please be aware that the uh, upgraded model will be uploaded in the next hours and in the next days okay so be aware that you're going to get this inside the full rig and also please don't forget to check out our community tab to to know more about the current projects we're working on for all of the following months thank you very much for your support and don't forget to subscribe give a like to this video comment please share it because it's really important for the channel to keep growing as a healthy blender 3d community and also visual tools such as stable diffusion. Thank you so much. My name is Spear Schiller. I am a 3D animator and VFX compositor. Let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.